video we'll learn about carrying an intangible asset on revaluation model and specifically in this video we'll talk about a few fundamental questions and the first is which intangible asset should be should be record should be subsequently measured at fair value uh, so first of all the requirement is that there should be an active market for that asset because if there is not an active market uh, the fair value of that intangible asset cannot be determined on the basis of that market in that case we cannot subsequently measure it on intang uh, on revaluation model rather we have to measure it on the cost model uh, but uh, the standard also says that the active market for an intangible asset is very unusual which means it is very less likely that an intangible asset would be carried at fair value in practice uh, now if one asset has been chosen for revaluation model then all of, of the intangible asset in that class of assets would also have to be uh, accounted for at the revaluation basis. However, if for one or two or a few of those assets, of those intangible assets, uh, there is no active market, in that case, those assets are exempt from being uh, carried at the revaluation model because there is no active market for them. Uh, the second question is when and how frequently should an asset be revalued? And so the rule is the carrying value at the end of the reporting period should not be materially different from its fair value. If an asset was, was revalued two years back and the carrying value now is very different from its fair value, in that case it has to be revalued. Which means that if an intangible asset is of a nature that its fair value is very volatile, then we would have to revalue it uh, every year. However, if uh, an asset is very involatile, very stable, its value doesn't change with time, in that case it has to be uh, revalued uh, less frequently. Uh, similarly, if one asset in the class of asset has been revalued, then all of the asset, all the intangible asset in that class of assets should be revalued. And this is primarily to prevent uh, selective revaluation. For example, there's a class of, of intangible asset and in that class, an entity has purchased several brands. Now, if a brand goes up, the entity revalues. And if a brand goes down, if the, if the value of that brand goes down, the entity does not revalue. In that case, that would be a misrepresentation of the total asset of the, of the entity, and this is not allowed. Lastly, what happens if, if an entity has chosen the revaluation model initially, but eventually the active market uh, faded away? What would happen in that case? So in that case, we would maintain that asset at the carrying value, less subsequent amortization and subsequent impairment loss.